All right, so beef nowadays. What can I say about this? It's not, it's not like it used to be, golden era now. Forget golden era then. Rap beef nowadays consists of Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook and YouTube, right? So let's go back to a prime example, the Meek Mill versus Drake beef. I hate to bring back old beef, but let's bring it up. Um, Meek Mill, Drake, first of all, there was this big conspiracy that Drake um, had a lot of writers. Now we already know Drake had writers. Alright, in, in terms of um, old beef, what I was saying, Drake and Meek Mill, right? So, Drake had this conspiracy about writers, and Meek Mill brought it up. Now, we already know Drake had writers because he does a lot of pop work. So, and most pop stars have writers. Justin Bieber, all of them. None of them are exempt. Michael Jackson, I don't know if Michael Jackson had writers. That's way back in the day. I don't know about how they did back in the day. But nowadays, it's, it's common to have a team of writers. So, he brought that up in the beef. And that was actually a really good point to Meek Mill, to be honest. Like, he really hit him hard with that one. And, and as an MC, you know, having the writers, you know, you're no longer in the MC category. So Drake, as uh, much as I love Drake, I was talking to my boys, uh, guys and Treza, and um, I, I love Drake. I'm always going to stand for him, but his MCs, writers, sorry, bro. Um, but Meek Mill did a lot of tweeting rather than rapping in that beef, unfortunately. He had one track, it was Wee. It was Wee. I don't remember the name of the track, actually. But it was Wee. And then Drake um, killed him back to back. And, um, uh, what was it called? I forgot the name of his original track. So, Drake dropped two tracks on him. Meek Mill got back at him with a weak track, but a lot of tweeting. Now, that, unfortunately, is not, was not the last of tweeting for Beast. Um, Soldier Boy, oh God, Soldier Boy had this really long strew of just Instagram videos and Twitter things talking about Chris Brown trying to set a fight up. That never really would happen, but... It was just his beat. He didn't even drop a track. To be honest with you, Chris Brown, or if you listen to some of the records during that time, Chris Brown, he didn't put a track out against Old Boy, but he had some subliminal references to it. But it was just... It was just... That was a prime example of Twitter beef nowadays. And, and unfortunately, beef, when I say beef nowadays, it's really thin and superficial. Beef back in the day, like Jay versus Nas, 50 Cent versus everybody, freaking the game was on everybody. Beef back in those days, Tupac and Biggie. Well, Tupac and Biggie was a special case because the shots were actually fired, like bullets and stuff, people getting hurt. But back in the day, beef was not just one track. You were going at them for maybe an average of five tracks. Like you were just hitting each other, one, two, three, four, four. And you actually didn't like each other. You didn't show up on the cover of a magazine, you know, Posting it in an album together later down the road. So, beef was a real thing back then. Sorry about the light on that one. But nowadays, beef is just maybe one track, two tracks. Most beef you might get the subliminals. Maybe, you know, like Jay Z and Drake are going at each other right now. Um, who else is going at each other right now? There's just a lot of subliminals you have to read nowadays because people are too scared because are too scared to get made into internet follies over stating something that you don't like. Like for me, I know, and I hope this never changes, future self, if you're watching this, make sure this doesn't change, that if a rapper calls me out, and I actually don't like him, and I say something, I'm not going to take it back, I'm not going to take subliminal shots, I'm going to take a direct shot, because I stand for my principles, I'm a man of principle, I was, I'm a late 90s baby, 90, I was born in 1995, and I don't, I don't care about who makes fun of me, because I've already been made fun of by religious groups, regular groups, pretty much everybody, fellow rappers, whatever, I'm going to take a direct shot. I'm going to stand for my presence. I'm, subliminals and everything like that, it's just, it's beef is just really watered down nowadays. Now, there's a special segment on YouTube beef. This stuff, this is the most fake, corny event I have ever seen in my life. All these YouTube diss tracks just dissing each other for the sake of it, like rice gum and Jake Paul and whoever else is at the top. Yo, they're giving rat beef that's already watered down a bad name, in my opinion. I cannot stand it. 
I don't subscribe to Rice Grum, I don't subscribe to Jake Paul, they still appear on the trending YouTube page, and they still are getting a lot of attention. So, and now everybody's doing this track just for the heck of it. For the heck of it. No, sh- no, no, like, even, like, I love Corey Kenshin and Dash XP, but even them. And their, their diss tracks were good. But like, um, Dash XP was dissing the It movie when it came out, and Corey X Kenshin was dissing stuff he doesn't like, but... The point of a diss track is when you actually dislike something. And I'm not, I'm not doubting that Corey Kenshin or Dash XP didn't like those things, but if you actually didn't like someone in particular, you're supposed to go at them, no holes barred, and, you know, you actually stand behind them a little bit. Like, these YouTubers will put a diss track out and then collab with each other on the same next week. Talking about, you know, this is all fun, you know, we're just trying to challenge everything. Yo, that joint is corny, bruh. That joint is corny, my girl. Cut that out, right? That joint is corny. Straight up. Anyway, that is pretty much my opinions on beef and, um... The YouTube, yeah, pretty much the YouTube beef scene right now. So I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. See y'all tomorrow. Peace.